Must we have more bugs in the house? Must we? Hey! What's up, my peoples? Go here, the freak and geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Tarantulas! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have Tarantulas looking all tarantula Legacy Transformers. He is a, a Deluxe Class, Class Deluxe, Deluxe Class, a Class de Deluxe. Oh. On this side of the box, we have the lovely... Legacy artwork. On this side we have Tarantulas, we have Tarantulas. Up top we have Legacy. On the bottom words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots and you have a QR code if you want to scan it. Go ahead, free scan on me. You're welcome. And that's basically it for the packaging. Man, moving right along, here we have Tarantulas. And yes, we have a new Beastie Boy in our midst. And here he is in his robot mode, looking quite, quite good, in my opinion. But let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at his abs, but at his noggin. There's the noggin. Let's see. Nicely done head sculpt there. Looks quite good. Love the coloration also. Love the coloration on this figure. I think it looks so, so good. Um, the purple looks really good, as always. I don't know if it comes across very well on camera. Purple is just one of those colors that the camera doesn't like to pick up very well, but it's a very nice purple. Love the metallic paint right there. Yeah, you got the nice greens, nice purples. Got a bit of gold. Gold-ish. Some gold-ish. Oh no, it looks really good. You see the shins here have a nice, a nice sheen to them. His big old feet. And moving with the back, you got the tarantula booty. Again, love the coloration going on here. Some nice detail as well. But overall, it looks quite, quite good in my opinion. So, articulation wise, um, the head is on a ball joint just due to the shape of his head. There's not too much wiggly waggly. Can't really look up, can look down ever so slightly, but the head can do a full 360. Arms can do a full 360, can move in and out, can also move back. Let's do the transformation, but hey, it's a joint that's there if you need it. Um, you do have bicep rotation. You also have rotation right down here. You have, I guess, that's the elbow, although the elbow's, you know, <laughs> your elbow isn't where your wrist is, but hey, it's fine. It's a wrist bow. That's all. Um, and these legs here, the spider legs, are on ball joints. These can wiggle, waggle around. You can have, you know, just kind of shift this whole section back or forward. However you need. Um, you do have waist rotation. Um, if you unclip the backpack, if you untab it, you do actually have an upper torso rotation as well. As for transformation, but you can totally use it if you want to for posing. Legs, they can go forward that far, back, about that far, outward, full splits. You got thigh rotation, you have a double jointed knee, so you have a nice full range of movement there. And the feet can move up a lot, they can move down a lot, and you have lots of ankle tiltage. Now as far as accessories go, well, you get two weapons here. You get this right here, just cast all in black. And you also get a little buzzsaw weapon here with the blade. Paint it up. It doesn't spin. It's all just one static piece. At least they put some paint on it. And of course, you can wield them. You can connect them, like so, if you want. That's a thing you can do if you want to do it. The instructions show you can do that. You can also you have a port right here as well. So I guess if you wanted to, you could do you could do that too. Because hey, why not? Dare I say why not? Or you can just have him holding both in his little claws. As always, it's yours. Display however you wish. You can pew pew buzz buzz pew pew buzz buzz saw saw pew pew buzz buzz saw buzz saw yeah. And also another thing to note is um he does have a Predacon symbol on him. It's just very hard to notice. It's right there. You can see, but it's purple on purple, so you can barely see it. But it's there. He has his branding. He has his branding. <laughs> there you have that. And now for comparison, there is Tarantulas with the other Preds, and they look quite good together. Quite, quite good together. I like it. I like it. So, there you go. 
So that is basically it for robot mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's! So, first thing we need to do here to transform him is to bring the legs up, just get him into a seated position, and then you want to untab this backpack section here and just shift it down. Like so, to where he's pretty much like, you know, sitting in it, like that. And then you just take the spider head and just bring that up and over the robot head, like that. Once you do that, you can bring the arms out. You're going to rotate the upper body around, like so. Once you've done that, you can tab that rear section in, like that. Um, at this point, you can just rotate the arms up, just to get them out of the way. So now, as far as the legs go, you're going to bend them in all the way, and you have a tab that's going to go into the slot right there. It's going to that one. So just tab that in, so that sits like that. And then you just kind of bring the foot down. The foot will just kind of sit in there for now. And second verse is like the first. Just fold that in, make sure that tabs in, and then just sit that foot Right in there. Now at this point, if you want weapon storage, this is when you have to do it. So you have this post right here. It's going to go into the port right here on this weapon. So just line that up. And that should just plug right in. Like so. Once you do that, you can collapse the legs down. Like that. And there's your weapon storage. So once you have done that, we can bring the arms in. You want to rotate these sections up with the legs. And what's going to happen here? You have a tab that's going to go into this notch right here, and then you have this tab that's going to go into this opening right there. So, I always line this one up first, so just line that up like that, and then just make sure that that ends up in its place. And when you have everything just right, all that should sit nice and flush like that. And of course, second verse is just like the first. Just rotate that in, bring this in. Again, just get all your tabs and slots situated. And there we go. And once you've done that, you just take the claws here. You just rotate them like so. And there you go. Just straighten out the spider legs there. Do what you want. And there you go. There you have Tarantulas in his spider mode. You can't really get a good spin out of him, but it's okay. But there it is. There he is in alt mode. And it looks good. It looks real good in my opinion. I dig it. I really, really dig it. But let's get in close here so you can take a look at the details. If you have arachnophobia, this is just destroying you right now, isn't it? But anyway, um, I love the paint here for the eyes. It just really pops. A nice metallic green. I love it. It just really pops against the purple. Looks really good. You got the legs there. Again, you got some nice kind of texture molded in there. Looks really good. Got the spider booty. And there's the top, and there is the bottom, and it slides like tarantula slide. Hooray for sliding spiders. I don't, I don't know. There is tarantula with the other preds, and they look quite good together. Quite, quite good together. I like it. I like it. So, there you go. Now, as far as articulation goes in spider mode, uh, the claws here can rotate. They can move outward if you need them to. Of course, if you rotate them this way, then they can move inward. So it just depends on how you have things oriented. Um, the spider legs just have a ball joint right here, and that's the only part that moves. You have your wiggle waggle there, bend, and all of that. And as far as the back goes, nothing moves back here. It's just a big old spider booty. And that is pretty much it. Now you have storage for the uh, the saw weapon as well. And it just plugs into this port right there. So you just plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. Like so. And voila, there you have storage for all of your accessories. And there you go. So there you have Tarantulas, and yeah, very well done figure in my opinion. I really dig him, really, really dig him. Um, the robot mode looks good, spider mode looks good, transformation, smooth, fun, enjoyable. Um, overall, pretty solid bot here. I am most pleased with him, most, most pleased and happy to add to my Predacon ranks, so... 
<laughs> there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other legacy figures, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. Then I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Tarantulas, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face! Tarantulas! <clears throat> Tarantulas. I was wondering, um, that web you made in my quarters, um, could you move that? You can't just move a web! Sure you can. I burnt it down and now you can make a new one somewhere else. See? Moving it. Yes. That's not how that works! Well, I guess it is.